Hello, everyone. Welcome to Psychic Pass. I am Suzanne Marie, and this is A1R Psychic Radio. How is everyone tonight? I certainly do love Wednesdays. I am so thankful for all the beautiful souls that I get to connect with and and get to know better. And it's just been a wonderful, wonderful journey into this. And especially with they want our psychic radio. So welcome. I hope that everyone is feeling loved and safe and comforted by those that love them. So I'm a clairvoyant and a light trance medium. And I'm here to do readings. I really, really, that's my passion. And I really love doing them. So this is what we do. And this is why we're here. So if anyone wants to reading, please call in. And I will do my very, very best. Uh, we are in Aquarius season, which is the season of change. And... Um, it's kind of constant change. So it's a continual change. And then we'll go right into Pisces, which is dreams and aspirations. And so it's a very, very good time for me to, to be here and be able to do the readings. So, um, yeah, I am in Minnesota. It is the dead of winter. So if anyone has any sunshine going on, please send it our way. We would enjoy it. Um, so yeah, and you can reach me if you enjoy the reading and would want one of your own. You can reach me at readingsbysuzanne at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Margaret from S South Australia. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hello. How are Hi. you? Hi. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Uh, I'm well, thank you. Today is a beautiful hot day here in Australia. Oh. We're going oh, through so our that's... summer and our heat wave. Um, oh. Very hot summers in the south of Australia. I hope I can pick some of that up for for the winter here. It's uh, <laughs> it's uh, like 13 inches of snow outside. So wow. it, it's, well, it's kind of extreme. Years. I know. Absolutely. Absolutely. What what can I help with tonight? Um, look, uh, Suzanne, um, there, are, there, are, there are several issues. One of them is um, my, my family, my brother. Um, um, yeah, it's got to do with my mother's passing, inheritance. I'm not uh -huh. sure where this is going. Okay, um, let me take a look and see what Spirit says, okay? Okay, so, so did your mother pass away like maybe a month ago? No. Has it been no, months? my mother passed away. No, my mother passed away a long, long time ago. Hmm. It feels like, it feels like there's a lot of anger going on. I feel a lot of frustration and anger. And, um, I was picking up your mom, but, but, um, she was making it seem like, oh, I just got here. So that's why I had to ask. <laughs> oh. Um, so, so has your brother always been quick tempered? Because it feels like uh -huh. even w when he's not showing it, he's thinking it. He's very quick tempered. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, Your mom, your mom is showing me that he's he's too reckless. He's reckless also. Um, not quite, not quite seeing what he, 
what he takes care of. Everything is quick and 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 impulsive, is what I'm picking up. Um, do, are you going to court? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I feel like you're going to go to court. I feel like there's going to be someone to mediate what's going on with all of this. And I think it needs to be, because I don't think that you can meet a common ground with your brother. Um, yes, I don't, he... I don't think that he can handle he... it either, because I feel he has a lot of health issues, but go ahead. Yeah. Um, um, well, my mother died six years ago in March. My brother yeah. is a lawyer. He was, he became the executor, the beneficiary. Uh, he, he, he took everything he wanted and only gave me what he wanted. Now he's oh. expecting me to, to, He's saying that I owe money to, to from my mother's estate, which is not true. And I do have a legal document. But, you yeah. know, he's one of these narcissists that he thinks, he, he said, nobody can beat me, nobody can win me, and not even God can take me down. You know, that kind of man, you know? Right, um, that's what I was saying. Yes. I've had a lot of therapy. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sensing that only a mediator can deal with him. Someone that is, is, isn't involved. Um, and I feel like you, he will be shut of, down. He will be shut down. Yes. He will be told to step mean? back. That means that, that you're going to be winning this court case, um, because he really doesn't have a claim. This is all nonsense. This is air. This is a lot of hot air. Um, yes, but he's what he's done is he's he's um how is the word you know when you're when you're a lawyer and you you do things you know you put put things in company names and you know you you he's he, what he did is what, I call what it he unethical. Did, Unes yes, unethical. What he did is he used all my mother's assets to build his little empire and left me with virtually 10%, 10% uh, which I've been, you know, it's, it's been very difficult and he's been blackmailing me for six years. So, so I eventually, I... my mother... Go ahead, honey. Oh, no, and I'm just saying I'm sick of it. It's caused me health issues. Um, just wondering, um, um, I'm, my mother's got a deed of release. Now he wants to see the discovery notes, but he cannot do it um, without um, without he himself getting a lawyer. And um, I, I'm, I'm scared because he's powerful. He's got money. I don't have that much money to, to, to beat him in the legal system. But my nice. lawyers are also forensic lawyers, and they they can smell a rat. And that means that my mother's whole estate will come into this situation, and he could very well have to give me something more. That's, that's what I'm, I'm picking sure. up. I'm picking up that you have the truth, and that's what's going to win out on this. Um. And I feel like like his uh, personality isn't going to do him any favors when he's the one in court. I do see a, a really good judgment for you. Yes, it's been very painful, and um, I don't understand. Uh, I think it's it not feels. It feels like it's been painful for a very long time. Very long time. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like there there will be an end to this. 
and the court will see it your way. That's how I feel. I feel like he will be shut down with all his, um, it just seems like he's angry and that's not gonna get him far. Um, and your mother is very much on your side. Um, she's been she's been talking to me, um, and she's on your side as well. So I just want you to know that um, she she says she loves you dearly. Well, I loved her, and I took very great I took good care of her um, until the very end. I even dressed her when she passed. She's a really, really sweet, want. sweet person. She's just oh, yeah, really sweet. So, so I wanted to give you that, and just please oh, be be you. patient. Thank you. And you will find that judge, judgment. I promise, you will get can justice. I, can I? Ask, can I ask you? Thank you for that, because at the end, because it caused me illness. Um, and and I and I, I I'm I'm fortunate that I'm here, but I'm strong, and and I ne I need this I need this um because I'm a man's created fear in my life I'm getting therapy, but thank you for that I appreciate it. Look, I've been on my own for a very very long time. Will I ever meet anyone in this lifetime? Will there be anyone for me? I feel like it. I feel like that it will have something to do with your health. So you may meet him in a medical medical situation, like a clinic or something. Um, but I do, and I do feel like that will be sometime in the summer. The meeting will be this summer. I do have to go, but thank you so much for allowing me to share with you tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really, really yeah. appreciate it. So my health is good. I just wanted to know yes. that. My health okay? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Suzanne. Okay. Very, very you appreciative. A, you have a beautiful day, okay? Thank you, Suzanne. Much appreciated.